moving on to other news this week, uh, McLaren, <laughs> they're, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, David. David Sanchez. Sanchez. Yeah. Yes. Uh, was hired from Ferrari in 2023, started in 2024, and he's already out. Yeah, this was really like, th- so when Andrea Stella took over as team principal, um, it, he made a lot of changes in the organizational hierarchy at McLaren um, and kind of like, t- like put everything under like three umbrellas. And it's like, ev- everyone was under, like, oh, that's kind of weird. Um, and one of the their big moves was hiring David Sanchez from Ferrari. Um, apparently he missed like they they realized that there was a misalignment in quotes between the team's original expectations and what Sanchez allegedly brought to the table um so they decided to part ways with him which I think is a really interesting move after three months the the statement claims that it was a mutual decision so that Sanchez could pursue other opportunities in motorsport but like Yikes. I guarantee you in six months, he isn't pursuing other opportunities in motorsport. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe he gets he is. snatched up somewhere else really quick. But it just, yeah, it, this, I don't know. This seems weird. Yeah. It just, it seems like there's a lot of, you know, a merry-go-round of change within the upper echelons of McLaren. Like, you know, they, they had to redo the organizational hierarchy again and move things around with like their top three, top four guys, including the team principal Stella. Um, So this, this may not be anything to worry about, or this could be a worrying sign for McLaren, especially since McLaren is kind of, you know, beating out some, some expectations of where, where they were going to be this early on in the season. So we'll see. I know the, the, all of the technical hires and moves always just to me, it's a lot, especially how quickly they're hired and fired again or let go or Mm -hmm. mutually separate because if he started at the beginning of the year, he hasn't really had a hand in doing anything this year. Right. And like, maybe he has a hand in doing things for next season, but it just seems odd after doing nothing to just let him go. And, and I understand they did this whole like reevaluation, whatever, but if he was a good hire, then why get rid of it? I just don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Especially since he, you know, he was hired in, you know, February of 2023 and then went on garden leave, which I think is a very, British thing where yeah. if you you are leaving one position to another you basically have a period of time where you're not allowed to work or you don't work um so and I guess you hang out in your garden is I think the where the, where the term comes from I, I I remember googling it like months ago um but I I just I I don't know what this means for McLaren but it's it's a little bit of a red flag yeah who knows what Zach's doing at McLaren honestly but We'll see. 